Welcome back to our main homestead. Let's chat about what we hope to get accomplished this week. Yep, so last week we started doing the post on the porches, which we're going to have to do because the beams have to come out and rest on those posts, uh, some of those posts, before posts for the first floor can go up because they rest on top of those beams. Um, so this week we're hoping to get the subfloor down. Um, we're going to kind of first start off making sure everything's level using rough cut lumber it's not all the same depth there's it's off a little bit most all of it is pretty level we've kind of been checking it as we built it but we're gonna have to go through and shim some places and maybe plane down a couple of boards just to bring everything within tolerance um, basically but once we do that as we check it we'll just kind of slowly work our way across the floor we may not get the entire subfloor in because we're going to slowly be put, getting a subfloor panels ready for one section and then putting up post um, and then potentially putting up beams um, on top of those posts. So we're just going to slowly work from one end to the other versus putting all of the post up and then starting to put the beams up. Yeah. But that's the plan anyway but we also still have some more backfilling we've got a measure for all the posts um for the porches so we can be sure we're just going to double check our numbers um what else was it we still need to pour a four foot wall on the footer for oh, yeah. the decks and the uh exterior like roof area or we, we, come we. off the side of the house yeah we so maybe we'll get that done this week but yeah so hopefully, yeah, hopefully. gonna get a few things checked off the to-do list yep so this is our new post and beam cutting station that we set up yesterday. Um, the beam cutter attachment for the circular saw, while it made pretty square cuts, it just left rough edges because it was technically uh, a chainsaw. So we decided to use this table that we usually use for butchering animals, put our miter saw on top of it, and then we run the, the beams through there. The only problem is, number one, you can see I've got this piece of wood here that just has to space it far enough from all of this to allow the blade to cut into it. And it's a little more labor intensive. We have to rotate each post and beam four times when we cut it. But hey, it gives really clean cuts and really square cuts. So it's worth it in the long run. The only other thing that we had to kind of finagle was you can see all the boards under the sawhorses they're actually seven inches lower than the platform that the beam sets on on top of the saw there so we just bumped it up so that they're all level we thought about cutting off the legs for our table but we really like our table the way it is so we're just going to make do with this and see how it works Okay, so Eddie's back there right now just checking level on all of our floor joists. Um, I think we pretty much have all the floor joists level. There are a couple pieces of blocking that are sticking up a little bit that we need to plane down. Those were just, they just kind of shifted up as we were nailing them in. Um, but yeah, so I think we're kind of good to go. We're going to throw a couple pieces of subfloor up there and just be sure we're not wobbling anywhere um, and just kind of get the get the lay of the land for laying the subfloor and then I don't know that we're gonna start that necessarily today but um, like I said we're just gonna try it out and put a few pieces up there see what we got
Yes. Hi, welcome back to Our Sweaty Homestead. Today it's like 85 and in the next three or four days it's supposed to be in the high 80s, so, oh boy. But, we're working on subfloor, so we put one row down, but you've seen some of the footage probably, but, so what we did is we measured over four feet, 48 inches, and snapped a line, and lined our first row up with that, not the edge of the house, but with the line that we snapped four feet in to make sure everything else lines up all the way down. Um, what? I was doing the same thing you were doing. Uh, and then we had to cut each piece for where the post and or beams are going to sit um, going out to porches or going up to the for the first floor. So we've been doing all that and then you have to lay a bead of glue, and boy, is that hard. It's really hard to squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hot out here, so, yeah, we're sweating. But, um, so we put a good bead of glue down after we're sure we know exactly where it's going to be, and then we lay it down and screw it down and move on to the next panel. So that's where we're at now. Yep, so we're able to get two full panels, and then we had to cut one in half. It was like exactly 48 inches, just an eighth of an inch shorter than that. And then on the way back, we'll stagger the lines. We'll go two full panels and then the cut sheet and then back again, two full panels, cut sheet. So yeah, just that way you stagger be, all the seams. Yeah. Probably makes a difference maybe. Yeah. But. So should be able to keep that up for the entire length of the house. And yeah. then, yeah. It's just slow going. We've got, but yeah. we've got like seven and a quarter rows or something. It's so hot out here. But yeah, no, we're making it work, we're doing it, and we're gonna knock some more out before we call it a day today. It's a little after 6 a.m. We're getting started early today because it's going to be another really hot one. And when it starts to get too hot, too uncomfortable around lunchtime, we're going to call it quits for the day. So wish us luck. We've got more subfloor to do. And we're going to rock and roll this morning.
thing we got an early start today because both of us are hot, dripping sweat, tired, but we're gonna finish up this last row here and then probably call it a day, so. Not, not the last row. This row. last row that we're <laughs> gonna do right here. on the job site. Cheers. Now we're gonna work on finishing up the subfloor. Then I think the next plan of action is post and beams. And then possibly this afternoon we might have some concrete guys out here forming up the four foot wall for the decks and that uh, outer roof area. So we shall see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so everywhere the subfloor uh, meets a post, where a post will eventually go. Had to make these cutouts. Obviously these on the ends are pretty easy. These are just like the middle ones. That's where the beam pockets are. And then these were a little more challenging, but had to be sure our measurements were right. But that's where our post will sit on top of where two beams meet. Um, so we've got all that done. We feel pretty comfortable that they're all in the same, in the right place. So we're about to do the last row of subfloor and then we'll start putting up porch post and beams which have to be done before we can start putting up post for the actual house. All right, so yesterday, a couple of the concrete guys came out to form the four foot wall that we've been waiting on for a while. So they didn't get to finish because they didn't have all the tools they needed, needed go figure. Um, but hopefully they're gonna, well, hopefully, and supposedly they're gonna come out early next week to pour that wall. Um, they did come and collect the excavator, so I don't think they're planning to do any backfilling, which is a surprise to us. Um, so yeah, just one thing after another, but today Eddie and I are working on more post and beams for the porches. Um, it's been super rainy today, and I had to take a quick break to go run Emory to therapy this morning. So yeah, we're just kind of doing what we can and just rolling with the punches per usual, but yeah, so here we go. So our process has gone from the beam cutter, which attached to the circular saw. You've seen that epic fail. It just didn't give a clean cut 
um, on the edges or give a square cut so it was basically worthless um, so then we tried the chop saw the miter saw and we can't cut all the way through it so we had to cut and then rotate it the very difficult part about that was trying to get the cut lined up again these things weigh 300 plus pounds and so trying to manipulate it fractions of an inch on the chop saw was virtually impossible so we went back to what I had originally planned all along but thought it was going to be way too labor intensive we mark our measurements on all four sides we draw lines to connect everything and then we take the circular saw and cut as deep as we can on each side so we cut flip it cut flip it cut flip it and then that leaves a place about two and a half three inches in the center and usually it's relatively square um, that's just slightly raised so I take my um, it's still connected so I take my uh, handsaw and cut through that which doesn't take very long but then it leaves a square that's raised that's what I was talking about so then I take the flap disc on my angle grinder and just eyeball grind it down checking uh, square as I go and it makes a really square cut as square as you're going to get on these big 8x8 timbers and it's a it's a lot smoother once you go over it with the flab disc so hopefully this one's the right height so this is the second post for the house actually Can you teach me how to dougie? Oh, I know how to dougie. Can you teach me how to? Oh! I don't know how to work it. That is definitely not how that goes. It's how, it's how my version works. Megan would be so embarrassed right now. All done. All right, another week has come and gone, but we've worked on the subfloor. We got all of that finished for the first floor. What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> um, it has been so stinking hot this week. So we've had a lot of days where we started at like 5.30 in the morning, cut out yeah. about noon, one o'clock, because it was it was just unbearably been, hot. Yeah, it's been very humid and mid 90s plus, uh, Monday through Thursday anyway. So yeah, it sucked. So our supervisor was taking it easy all week and hanging with grandma and grandpa. So we got to just freestyle and and take yeah, off we whatever got, we felt yeah, like we got six, <laughs> six maybe seven hours in some days but anyway we finished the subfloor and which was a big accomplishment yeah. and so then we could start building up um, you can see behind us we set a couple of posts for the first floor um, we have to set a, on the corners we have to set a beam that the first floor post actually sits on so we we did that so we have one porch post 
and beam combination screwed in and, and good to go. And we've got, um, we only have one more port supposed to do, and then we'll do a beam for on top of it. Then we can set the corner post. There's three posts on in each of the bays. And then we'll just work our way down to the other end of the house. Yep. So hopefully this next week, is that, were you gonna say something? Yeah. Hopefully this next week, We'll see how it goes. There's supposed to be a lot of rain, I think, tomorrow, next day. But uh, hopefully this next week, we will maybe get all the posts up for the first floor, be ready to start setting beams, then floor joists, and build up to the second floor. Um, so we're probably a couple weeks away from getting to the second floor. Um, they say they're coming Tuesday to pour our wall for the end of our house that our decks will sit on. and supports the um that end of the house the end of the roof so hopefully they'll we'll be done with all of that and then it's just us and we can knock it out yep we keep saying that but we we are really looking forward to there it just being us <laughs> um but yeah so it did oh really tell them all about it oh you said your piece <laughs> But we um, are very excited that this week we got to really start working with the timbers and like building up from the first floor. So we're out of the basement and we're building up and it's just really exciting now, I think. Yeah, and it's kind of dark and cool in the basement, at least out of the sun anyway. Not very cool when it's 95, but anyway, we're rambling. Yes. Thanks Thank you watching. so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like this video, notification bell if you want to be notified whenever we post new videos, which we try to do each week. Um, and we will check back in with you guys next week. See ya. Bye. And you go here, and you come out, and you come out in the common area. And whoof, and here we are. Hanging out. And you walk down here. You, there won't be a ladder there. Walk down here. In your bedroom. Yeah. Party. Party. Party.